fell in love with the Benz, especially with the first one, which I had in 1958. And I saw this car, and I fell in love with it. And I said, I want another one. Hi, I'm Benji Atilano. I drive a 1956 uh, 190SL. I've got actually two of these. It's a twin, 156 and 158. The 58 with exactly the same color, exactly the same uh, winner as well. White twins, that's me. When I, li I like something, I buy another one. The same color, <laughs> kind of weird, but that's me. The first time I saw it in the freeway, I saw it as something rare. I wanted to buy a brand new one, but I said, wow, that was different. And I enjoy buying rare, unique cars. It drives like a truck. <laughs> it's funny, you know, but I enjoy it because uh, it's different. It's, it's not like uh, the other cars. These cars have stalled me a few times and, I, and I'm used to having a tow truck behind me. So let me introduce to you my uh, restorer. His name is Engineer Mike TV. He restores cars like uh, he only accepts like two or three per year. It takes him about a year to restore. But look at this, it's perfect. He restored this round about, about 10 years ago and you can see there's no rust at all. I'm uh, Michael TB and uh, I'm restoring cars, especially on vintage cars. Uh, and I met this owner when uh, his brother won uh, way back in 2014, it's a uh, transport show. We do a lot of restoring this car. So we restore it in a, a proper manner. And the, but the engine itself is still good, still uh, in good condition. We took uh, off the uh, windshield, the bumpers, and everything. Even the nuts and bolts, we have already dismantled. All of the parts here are still good, still original. And the uh, fabrics, the sidings, dashboard itself on the top of it is uh, still uh, original. I think this the uh, steering wheel of this uh, particular car is still original. The restoration took about almost uh, one, one and a half year because uh, it is a what you call a full restoration. Beneath itself is. We already repaired the floor pans and we put the uh, car on a rotisserie mechanically operated so we can uh, see beneath, so we can uh, clean it up properly. On the engine bay, it has a uh, lock in here on the side, a hook, and then you can see the uh, purely stock engine on it. I love uh, restoring this car particularly on the engine because it is the uh, power plant of this uh, car. Before you start uh, this kind of particular car, you, sh you should have a guts, you should, uh, you should have a passion, patience, and including a blood, sweat, and tears on this car. So all of these are original. Uh, they have matching numbers, matching uh, engine, matching uh, transmission, matching doors, everything is matching. The engine is uh, original. It runs perfectly well. Well, uh, being a purist uh, gives uh, more value to the car. So if it's not a matching number, I don't touch them.
for those who want to bring in vintage cars, you have to enjoy, love it. Just finding a little screw gives me great joy, <laughs> great joy. Just a little screw will make me happy. So you have to enjoy it if you really want. If you don't enjoy uh, restoring, don't get into it. You have to love it. You have to have the passion for it. Somebody approached me and said, is it for sale? I said, absolutely no. I love this car, so it has to stay in the family. It has to stay forever. <laughs> it's not for sale. I just love looking at them. It gives me joy.